Welcome back to the King's Court, or as we call it, the Bethesda Brothers Podcast. I have with me the legend, Joey Caps. Joey, how are you doing today? Phenomenal. How the heck are you? I'm doing great, as always. Today we are going to talk about Wastelanders Fallout 76 and what we can expect. We know it's coming soon. They said after the first of the year or the first quarter. I'm expecting March. Uh, what do you think? I, th- I think this is going to be huge for 76. I think they're going to bring a lot of people, new, a lot of new players, a lot of players that did not want to give this game a chance. Now they will because now we have NPCs. It, 76, is, it's just a different game. It's a game, in my opinion, that's misunderstood and it's different. And I feel that with the Wastelanders update that... It won't be as different, but in a good way. I feel like it will be in a good way. So I'm very excited. I feel like this will be a great addition for the game, and I think it will bring in a lot more players to the game. Uh, That's just my opinion. Before we get into uh, Wastelanders a little bit more, you just hit a great point about 76 being misunderstood, and uh, I want to expound on that a little bit, and then I want to ask you to. Because I think that is so great. Uh, 76 is a different kind of game. And I think that's what you're talking about. It being Mm -hmm. misunderstood. Uh, The other day I was playing. And before I went out on a mission. It took me about 15 minutes to get everything ready before I went out. In other words, I couldn't just start the game and go out and play. And I think people... Uh, that are used to other Bethesda games get frustrated with that because they don't understand it. They're used to the other kind of Bethesda games, and as you're saying, they don't understand it. They've misunderstood what kind of game it is. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I just... They they go in expecting the same experience that you would get from Fallout 4 or let's say elder scrolls from other past bgs games they they go they go expecting that you can't expect that it's a it's such a different game like you just said it's a different experience it's an online game something that bgs has right. never ever ever done so number 1 it's an online game number 2 it's yeah. a multiplayer game and then number 3 it has survival aspects to it Ex- exactly and to be honest with you I love the survival. I, I think it does do a too. better job than what they did in Fallout 4 I, for survival mode. I, I think too. they do a fantastic job yes. in 76 when it comes to survival. and It's just a different experience. You can't compare this to past BGS games because it is unlike them. Now with Wastelanders coming, it will be more like a traditional BGS game. And that is not a bad thing at all, right. which in my opinion, I kind of wish that they kind of make wastelanders like it's separate thing being that it's going to change the world immensely you know yes. and um i feel like adventure mode should stay and then you have wastelanders which is adventure mode but also wastelanders is there because you are changing the core part of 76 yes. and for a lot of people that's really good that's great they'll pick the game up for other diehard fans like yourself you might not like that too much you'll like the addition of wastelanders but you love that core game you love the game for what it is right now so it might not need to be changed that is you know a, that is exactly the subject that I wanted in the podcast because <laughs> What I love about 76 so much, what we've always wanted with an RPG is what 76 is. It is a huge sandbox where you can, what if? What have we always wanted? Go anywhere, do anything. And that's what 76 is. And what Wastelanders is, might be going to do is putting obstacles in the way of that sandbox. I mean, you take a sandbox... And I, I don't want to get graphic here. You might be mm-hmm. putting a cat into the sandbox. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you know, you, you don't want to mess up the sandbox. Yeah. Uh, you know, a cat's nice to play with, but you don't want the cat in the sandbox. Is that what Wastelanders is going to be? 
I I sure hope not. And if I uh, I don't think so. I really don't. I think I think that like I said, um best case scenario make it two separate things, you know? That's what I think they but should that, do. But that's not what they're going to do. And, I, I, and here, I, I, here is some of my fear. They've they've they got should. a they've got a quest that is part of Wastelanders that's going on right now. You go to Grafton, it's in the Grafton pawn shop. Yeah. And what happens is if you're on a team, when you go into the Grafton pawn shop and you're on the team, all of a sudden you cannot see your teammate. What? Yeah. That's really cool. And you cannot hear your teammate anymore. It's just mm -hmm. like they're gone. And you're on this solo experience inside the Grafton pawn shop because mm -hmm. it is part of this quest that you have to do alone. And you have to do the clues inside the Grafton pawn shop. Well, is my question is, is every new quest in Wastelanders going to be like that if you're on a team? Is every new area that they install in the Wastelanders I, quest line going to yeah. be like that if you're on a team? I hope not because you're just you're taking out the one element of 76 that made it special and that's playing with other people. Yeah. Which no other Fallout game obviously has had that. So that's something that I've been wanting for years and now we could do that in 76, but now you're talking about bringing in you know brand new content and you're telling me that there is a possibility that during some quest that our teammates are going to vanish it it defeats the purpose a little bit of being an online game now for me i, I don't like that all too much just that's me personally i i, I think you're kind of hurting the dynamic of 76 and what it really is you know it's a it's a it's it's a game that is designed to be experienced with your friends can you do it on your own of course you can right but that's the whole thing you could play with your friends that's so much fun. It's ridiculously fun. And now if you're telling me that you're putting some type, um, a, a limit, a hold, I don't know, um, that I can't play with a friend of mine because I have to do this quest by myself, it just it just it hurts the dynamic of the game. It, it does. That's just my opinion. Yeah. Um, but but Bethesda obviously their forte is what single player games. Yeah. So if they do do it that way, I think it's going to be done well. It's just, like I said, you're hurting the dynamic a little bit. Well, obviously, it was a huge uh, mess to try to figure out how to take a multiplayer game that didn't have NPCs and put NPCs in the world and, yeah. to, and to allow uh, all these people to interact with them at the same time and to get all this to work. So... Going back to our original points, is this just something we're going to have to learn how to play? Uh, you know, as we said with 76 in the beginning, is this something that we're going to have to, uh, instead of misunderstanding the game again, all over again, is this just something we're going to have to learn with 76, the new way to play with Wastelanders? Like I said, I I hope not. <laughs> yeah. You know, I I don't see that being a good thing at all. You know, having to relearn some things and like I I don't I don't see how this is a good thing. If 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 that's the if that's the case, I don't see how this is a good thing. I I I, I hope that's not the case. I hope that it doesn't change the game like that. Yeah. You know. And maybe they figured it out where you don't have that. Another thing that is coming with Wastelanders, and this, this seems very cool in one sense, it also is going to really change the game. There is a new, uh, it's not called the Karma System, but it's like the, karma, the old Karma System. Mm -hmm. uh, the decisions you make now are going to matter, uh, and it's, it's going to change the game whatever decision you make 
with whatever factions going on. Uh, there's going to be different factions in the game, whether it's a raider settlement or a or the settlers or the Mothman cult. There's going to be all different kinds of uh, factions in the game, mm-hmm. and when you make a decision, this karma system or whatever they're going to call it now, uh, it's going to affect your position with that not only that cult or that faction faction thank you but with all of them so it's kind of like you know it may make this faction mad but it will make you more popular with the next and Mm -hmm. also i'm wondering well what if you're on a teammate with somebody will it affect your teammate as well see there's all kinds of questions that we're we don't know yet yeah that's insane well think about it like this okay in fallout new vegas for example you have boone as your companion he sees a legion he wants to shoot them right yes so if he if so in this case if your partner is in bad standing with a certain faction maybe they will attack you on site which in fact will impact your game now which i don't see that being a bad thing considering that you know in in past games like i said like new vegas that kind of has happened already Mm -hmm. so i don't see that as a bad thing and as long as you don't attack yeah as long as you don't attack them back you're okay your reputation with them is okay right but your partner not so much right because they already established that bad reputation with that faction so i like that actually i think that's kind of cool if if that's the case you know um it was it was funny. Oh man, I don't want to talk about this, but because I don't know, um, I don't know everything about it. I didn't read the article, but I read it partly about about like a new like car city or something. Yeah, in what and like how the, uh-huh. yeah yeah like how the cars go away and yeah it's underground and but you can't ride them anymore. Like I felt like they built it up to where like it's like oh my gosh. I could drive a car. Cars, and, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, and then all of a sudden, no, you can't. No. <laughs> no one's talking about that. I thought that was hilarious. That yeah. was a great, you know, dig, you know, from from Bethesda. I, I thought that was awesome that that they that they did that. Totally you know? off point. I do yeah. I do believe that cars are coming in the future in Fallout. That's something they're not in seventy six be... or in the in in Fallout in general. It, in Fallout in general, but it may be in seventy six. I think one hundred percent we're going to get cars in in Fallout uh, eventually in a Fallout game. Don't know in seventy six, but I think for sure in 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 a Fallout game we will definitely be getting cars. I mean, it, it was a Fallout two, the Highwayman. You know, yep. It was it was there. And so the, and the motorcycle. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. There. But 70, so, 76, they say they want it to last for 10 years. I believe it will. I believe it's got that, that kind of backing, that, that kind of core group. It, it does have that core group, yeah. yeah. And uh, I don't know, you know, I don't think it'll be a fast car or anything like that, but there's going to be some kind of quest, some kind of little thing. Uh, they're not going to be able to get away from it. It's going to happen. And it, it honestly, it should and if you think about it from from a business point of view, I know it's a different game. Look at GTA. They come out with these new, you know, crazy cars, and you have to use in-game money to purchase these cards. Now, with that being said, if Bethesda were to do something like this, like bring in, you know, have some type of uh, a garage and you know um this this car add-on and different kinds of cars that you could pick from and buy and i feel like i feel the community would kind of be split i think you would have the people who would beat the heck out of them because they're doing it for for the money yeah but then also that's kind of cool too you know and then also i wonder if you would have to use a different currency to buy these cars or if 
you could still use caps, but then all of a sudden you could buy caps from, you know, let's say the atomic shop. I think that's going a little too far. I don't know why the heck I thought that far ahead, yeah. but that's just something <laughs> that I literally just thought of right now. Yeah. Yeah. It's I think it's coming. You better watch it. Yeah. I, and I and I Watoga's think it's the perfect it would, place to bring it. Just yeah, I in the I, th- I think that that would be awesome. Yep. That that'd be re- really neat, but yep. I guess we have to see. Well, and uh see again Wastelanders through Wastelanders, they can do this because Wastelanders is the core. They're going to build everything from that. So all these factions are just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Mm-hmm. Well, with all whatever's going on in Watoga underground, that faction is just going to get bigger. So if if this thing lasts 10 years, what can they do with Watoga in 10 years? It's, so... It's going to be neat to see. Yeah, it's 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 going to be awesome. And if let's just say Wastelanders is seventy six's saving grace, you know, it it's it 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 brings in um, the outsiders, let's mm-hmm. say, right? And now people who did not want to give this game a chance now they are, and now all of a sudden set seventy six grows from you know zero to hero. Right. right, and now all of a sudden you have this Fallout game that's lasting quite a while. Let's say not even ten. Let's say over the next five five years, mm-hmm. it's still around. And it's let's say it's going strong now. Um, I wonder if that will hinder Bethesda Maryland to create another Fallout game. I wonder if that would stop them from doing so. Do you think so? Well, uh, that's an interesting point. I've actually thought about that. Uh, we don't have to worry about it for a while because you've got Starfield and you've got Elder Scrolls. We know is coming first before mm-hmm. before there can be a Fallout Five. Yeah. So we've got. Let's just run it down time wise. You've got if Starfield comes out this year, which we hope and think it's coming, mm-hmm. twenty twenty. That would put Elder Scrolls twenty twenty four at the earliest, probably. Yeah. 2024, mm-hmm. 2025, around there. So then, I think the earliest 2023. Me personally, but go on. The earliest, okay. So then, what 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 are we looking at for a Fallout Five? Three to four years after that. After that. And that's that's my opinion, but unless, I wouldn't I would I wouldn't be shocked if you see Starfield too. I was about to say unless they want to do another Starfield. Yeah. If Fallout seventy six is still growing strong, and if Starfield did really good, they will do another Starfield. So, mm-hmm. uh, you say will it hinder? Uh, it might just push more toward the Starfield if Starfield did good. And I, I, I think it's going to do really well. Yeah. <laughs> so that's, I'm I'm just, you know, I'll put all my money on it. Starfield yeah. is going to be a success. It, it's going to do well. Um, so with that being said, they will want to make another one. Yeah. And I, I feel, you know, they could make another one as soon as, you know, a couple of years after Elder Scrolls Six, And which it, it is, it isn't a bad thing. It's just, man, I, I kind of want my fallout though, too. 76 is great. I'm enjoying it. It's really fun. Um, but, but, but I do answer, want my Fallout But mind. to answer honestly, no, I do not think so. Because as long as people love Fallout, I think there will always be a market for a single player Fallout. Yeah, and, and, and especially since you have Bethesda Austin working on with 76... You know, I, I just, I think, you know, um, yeah. I even think you could possibly see them outsource it in the future. Well, I was about to ask the question, do you think there is a possibility they could put them together? Could they put Fallout 5 and 76 together? If it's that far in the future, and remember Fallout 4, uh, 76 was going to be part of Fallout 4. It was going to be the multiplayer yeah. component of 4. In the future, could they do Fallout 5 as the single-player mode of 76? So you're talking about an add-on 
to 76. Or are you talking about a brand new game? I'm talking and, about a brand that has multiplayer. I'm talking about a brand that new. has a separate multiplayer mode. Yes. Yeah, I, 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 I think we're going that way in all BGS games. Yeah. I wouldn't be shocked if Starfield has that. Fallout is the guinea pig. It has been that way for quite a while. It's a, you know, it's it's been that way, and um, I feel seventy six is a great test for Starfield. And not that Starfield will have online elements in it. I think it will have its separate thing. I I, I think they're starting that with Starfield. That's just my personal opinion. And then that will carry over to Elder Scrolls Six, yeah. and then where they have a more polished, you know, online. And slash single player. So I think with single player, it'll be a separate experience. And then you have that online like GTA where you could play with friends. Yeah, that's, I think, the direction that they're going. That's just what I personally think. Though. Well, and that's what I was about to say. The Fallout 5 multiplayer will be somewhere totally different than West Virginia. And that may yeah, end, sure. that may end the West Virginia and it be somewhere else. Yes, yeah, I mean that would make sense though for it to end if you're coming out with something else. Yes. It's just the one thing that scares the heck out of me. I wonder if once when they're done working on 76, I wonder if that's it then. They pull the plug on it, you can't play it anymore. I wonder if that's or they'll keep the servers going or if some way they'll make it into a single player game where you could play with friends. I wonder how they're going to do that. Because it, the whole charm of a BGS game is, is to play it forever. Keep playing it. Yeah. That you is interesting. It, it that, is, that is uh, that is a great question, Joe. Oh, well, well, thanks. Uh, <laughs> I, I would imagine that they would be able to play it as a single player game some way. Mm-hmm. But I don't know how they would do that. I think they would, they would do something, you know. To make, they would to make it a single player game. Yeah, to make it a single player game, and you know, because then all of a sudden it kills off the. It's like, hey, I want to visit West Virginia. No, I can't because the servers aren't up. Now I can't play it anymore. Yeah, and of course we're talking ten years in the future. Or we're whatever. even longer than that. Right. But still, yeah, I would I, I would hope that that wouldn't happen. Or may, or heck, or maybe they shut the servers down, right? You have Fallout 5 out already. They shut the servers down in 76, but they come out with the remastered single player 76. 76, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez, you that can't make this neat. stuff. Yeah. That would be hilarious. Yeah. Well... <laughs> Again, I'm looking for Wastelanders around March, but I do not want them to rush this because this is going to be huge. Uh, as you're saying, it is going to bring in a lot of people, so we need it to be stable. This is going to be the new base game of 76. Uh, this will either be the saving grace or the downfall of the game, so... Uh, we really, we really want them to do this right. So whether yeah. it's March or July, I want them to get this right. Uh, I wouldn't mind them waiting for E3, and and, mm -hmm. and I'm going on record saying this: if they need to wait, let's wait, but get Wastelanders right. I want it right. Uh, I'm with you. I would really rather them make it a separate mode. I would love for them to keep Adventure Mode just the way it is so you could go play it forever just the way it is that would be great but i'm afraid they're not they're not going to do that and i've heard some other people say that so uh maybe if we say it loud enough todd are you listening well it's not todd make a few videos about it yeah. it's not todd but it's jeff jeff Garner. yeah yeah he's yeah. the lead uh jeff are you listening jeff uh, hey! yeah but uh, even with my fears of Wastelanders, I'm super excited to see where it's going. I can't wait. To, the factions are so exciting because that's why I love New Vegas so much. All those factions and your decisions matter. That's what's about to happen in 76. Yep. Great uh, points. Real quick, let me uh, say uh, I have a Patreon page and... You do as well, and I would ask y'all to please go 
check out both mine and Joe's. I'll put a link down to Joe's in the bottom. Mine is always Thank you. Uh, in every description. And uh, guys, if it wasn't for my Patreons, I would not be on YouTube. Uh, that is just the honest truth. I love my Patreons to death. So y'all please go check out my Patreon page. They help so much. Absolutely. Even if it's to cover a couple a couple things, they help. They don't even know. They, they help so much. They do, and uh, we appreciate them so so very much. Uh, Joe, do you got any any quips or quirks from the week that you want to cover before we get out of here this week? Not necessarily. No. Well, no. You're supposed to have something good. What do you what do you want me to have, King? You want me to tell you that the PlayStation Five is going? Wait, is this gaming or or just life? It's I, I like the gaming. Yes, you did come yeah. up with something good, PlayStation. This go ahead, you give me yeah, that. The, that is awesome. The, the PlayStation Five supposedly I I don't I don't know how true this is. To be completely honest with you, the wife sends me a Facebook message because she knows I am porn. <laughs> so in the PS5, so Xbox in other words, Series X. if you're wrong, it's your wife's fault. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So, but there was an, an there was another article as well with the uh for the on this. But apparently, the PlayStation Five, the PlayStation Five will be fully backwards compatible. That means PS One. PS2, PS3, amazing. PS4, all on the PlayStation 5. Wow. How cool would that be to throw your disc in and to play? Apparently, they're creating this like emulating uh, emulator software for the PS5 to do this. That would be amazing. That's honestly because my library for PlayStation games is so huge. Yes. It's so large. I'm leaning towards the PS5 now. I'm giving I my age away, but I've wanted... Uh, consoles to do this since I've been playing Psycho. Uh, <laughs> why don't new consoles play the old games? Now, For the I, record, PlayStation Two did. Yeah, I know some of them. You know, played the last generation, but but you got to get new consoles. Get new consoles. Get new consoles. Why don't they play the old games? And here we have one that's going to play not just one generation, but every generation. That's amazing. That would be such a blessing and that would sway me to the ps5 and that's just and you made a point to me i said well xbox is going to have to do that then but even if they did they don't have near the library that sony does not even close no not even close they would have to get some type of a deal with with sega or whoever owns dreamcast and they still wouldn't they still yeah yeah they got to do something uh and also, I made a point that uh, I heard that the Xbox is costing Microsoft over $500 just to make. And you said that the Sony is going to be selling for around that cost. Is that not right? Yeah, that that's what people are saying about it, that the PS5 might even be as low as 400 which that would be awesome. Oh, wow. And then you have the new Xbox... 550 to 600 maybe even more than that yeah because imagine that who the heck's gonna want to buy that though you could buy a decent you could build your own pc that's better than that for that price so it's like what's the point i mean well, i don't i don't know let me ask you what if starfield comes out as a timed exclusive on microsoft would would that sway me yeah Risking, or would you just uh, wait the two weeks and get Starfield on Sony? <laughs> it it depends how long the the time exclusivity is because yeah, you normally had normally it's not long. You had dead you had Dead Rising though Dead Rising four was it and or three they had a timed exclusive. I'm not sure if it came out on the PS4, but I know they had a timed exclusive and it did not. It wasn't out on on the PC. I think for like a year. I I, I think if I'm yeah. I'm talking about the right game. So it depends how long it is. Depends how long it's for. A lot of time, you know, uh, Microsoft gets a lot of BGS games, like DLCs and that kind of stuff. Normally it's only like two weeks yeah. early. They did that with Fallout 4 a lot, if you remember. 
Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, e even with even with mods too. Yeah, that was out first, and then it came out on PS4. I actually sold my PS4 because of the mods. That's hilarious. On Fallout 4. I did. That's so funny. Yeah. Well, Joe, we're going to wrap it up for time wise, but thank you so much again for being with us uh, for the Bethesda Brothers King Court podcast. Thank you so much for having me. It's always a pleasure. Can't wait for the next one. Absolutely. And I want to thank everybody for listening because I know every person that started this podcast is right here, right now, listening and, and made it all the way through. We thank you so much. <laughs> Love the optimism. Absolutely. And we hope you join us next week for the King's Court. And this is the King Fan Man signing out.